What's up, everybody? Chad CRC back with you here. So, had a great time flying the Epic today for a couple packs before the snow came in on one of the de de on one of the development builds of Betaflight 4.0. So, a couple people have been asking questions as far as like how to do it. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. Also, I'm going to put the link down in the bottom in the description again for UAB Tech. He's the guy that has taught me how to do it and teaches a lot of people a lot of good things about what's going on in the beta flight community. So we got the TBS Source 1 on the bench here, which I totally love. I'll take a look at it here in the close-up cam. Rocking that ethics life with the straps, all that good stuff. Also had a, a couple questions about how I mount my stacks. I don't really like stacked quads and all that stuff. Running the, just a single board with the individual ESCs going on there. So just have, uh, this one actually has some uh, Flight Club butter mounts inside there. And that those are on just, uh, you know, the regular uh, through bolts for the frame. No crazy soft mounts or anything like that at all. So no trickery. Rocking the Primo 2207, 2450s, Crossfire, all that good stuff. So let's hook this thing up to beta flight and let's get it flashed. So we're hooked up to beta flight here and one of the first things I like to do just because I'm lazy even though I know this stuff pretty much by heart is I just go ahead and take some pictures of how I have my ports and UARTs and all that stuff set up. All my configuration stuff is pretty much the same so I don't really worry about that. One thing I do is take a picture of my rates so that way I can throw them back in because I kind of fly different rates on a few of my quads and see what I got going on for modes. That's all the same. So we can go ahead and disconnect from here. All you want to do is click on firmware flasher, click on enable expert mode, go ahead and select your flight controller which I am using the Tempest F4 and we're gonna be looking for development and then we can choose what kind of firmware version we want to, to pick from there's all kinds of different builds starting with the latest and greatest nightly build and we'll go ahead and drop down to 222 which is one that Mark recommended and just see how that one does full chip erase manual baud rate load the firmware and flash so now that's it that so now that that's all flash we're going to go ahead and connect to the board verify that we have our target on there which we do going to reset settings a couple times as mark recommends just to make sure everything's all good calibrate the accelerometer and just go through and do our normal beta flight setup Again, take a look at these crazy PIDs here. I mean, we have eye gains, 175, 65. Crazy how they come up with these numbers. But I can definitely speak that these numbers are the truth. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up setting this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up plugging in my numbers here. And then we'll take this baby for a test flight. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and run through a couple clips here. This was the maiden flight this morning. Switched over to HQ uh, 5.1, 4.1 by 3 props that came in last month's drone drop. And I think they've uh, gained a lot of popularity recently because Bob FPV has really been talking them up. And they're really nice. They're super smooth very responsive they spool up really fast especially running on 5s and the best thing about what i see here is that the footage is just super clean uh the stock pids feel very good um unlike my epic it seems like this frame which kind of suits people a little bit more because of its shape and design and kind of power and everything it's more like what people are going to run um it's going to need a little bit of extra tuning on here, I believe, and a little bit of changes, which is just fine. Uh, we'll work on that here later on in the video. 
I'll show you just a couple tweaks that I made. Not much, but yeah, I'll just let this play through here for a few uh, more seconds, and you can just keep an eye on, uh, see what you think. And now here we are later on in the afternoon. Got out, flew some wings and everything. Was doing a little bit of testing here and a little bit more open space. Just had to make a couple uh, changes to uh, to a couple more clicks on uh, my rates and lower my expo a little bit. And just uh, one click or two up on pitch and the roll access and one click up on D just to kind of get rid of a little bit of uh, prop wash handling and that kind of that stuff. Everything feels super great. The beta flight uh, for this development builds are looking really good, so pretty excited about the changes that are going to be coming in the future. My main concern though is first flight feel and video production. The video I think just looks really smooth, feels really great in the air, <clears throat> and running a 5S1250 pack. So the all up weight on this build is around 655 grams with the GoPro and everything else. So it's right in line pretty much with what a lot of people like to fly. So I think this is definitely a more representative video as far as what uh, people can kind of expect. And just a few more changes and this is pretty much my final uh, setup on my tune. Sure I'll probably play around with rates and stuff a little bit, but it's just pretty much point and shoot. Filtering is great, everything just feels right on the money plenty of power coming out of these props with the Primos on 5S and you'll definitely be seeing more of this ship flying in the air because it don't plan on changing a thing on it because it feels so good and flies so great. It's probably the best flying freestyle type of quad, you know, not cinematic like my Epics, but I'd say it's probably the best freestyle setup that I've ever had. So pretty stoked about that. Thanks for watching, guys. We will talk to you later. Hit me up with any questions.